My name is Dave Moss, and I'm a surveillance researcher for the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Law enforcement agencies are acquiring advanced surveillance technologies without providing elected officials or the public with the information they need to make an educated decision. In fact, too often, law enforcement agencies obtain this equipment without any kind of public process at all. SB 21 would require police to seek governing body approval for surveillance technology purchases and their accompanying policies. It would also ensure that meaningful data about effectiveness, cost, and misuse use are made public every two years. In other words, SB 21 creates a public process to determine whether surveillance technology's cost to our privacy and budget is proportionate to the public safety interest. Fiscal accountability is key here. These technologies are not cheap and ambitious surveillance programs too often become expensive boondoggles. SB 21 is urgently needed. The current U.S. administration's agenda calls for supercharging immigration enforcement and the so-called war on drugs. As a result, we can expect a heavy influx of military-grade surveillance technologies to flow into our communities through grants, pilot programs, asset forfeiture spending, and federal equipment transfers. And the threats posed by these unchecked technologies are not hypothetical. License plate readers in Los Angeles were left unsecured online with live feeds accessible to anyone with a web browser. In San Jose, a case that police championed as its main facial recognition, quote, success story, turned out to be a false arrest of an innocent man. In Orinda, motion-triggered cameras keep getting stolen with thousands of photos of residents stolen with them. And then there's Calexico, where police acquired James Bond equipment to spy on city council members who they allegedly intended to extort. Short. The U.S. Department of Justice stepped in to investigate and found the city was approving even more surveillance technologies without adequate policies in place. The current U.S. Attorney General, however, has made it clear that we can no longer count on his office to provide this kind of civil rights oversight. That's why we need the California legislature to take a stand against unchecked police surveillance. I urge you to support transparency and vote aye on SB 21.